One, two, no, no. um, hmm, no. what happened? Um, uh, uh, okay, Bob, no, no, get out. What's going on? Bob's out now, you guys. Eliminated. My name is Luke Owen, and I love bad wrestling. Join me on my journey through a cavalcade of crapness, watching what many believe to be the worst wrestling matches of all time to make my friends and you fall in love with bad wrestling too. This is my quest to find the worst match ever. Welcome to the worst match ever. I am Luco in D80. I'm joined by Tempest. Hello there. <laughs> I'm joined by Pete Quinnell. I had a thing planned, but now you've ruined it, so I'm not going to do it. I'm really glad you guys. And we are on the quest to find the worst match ever, and by definition, the best worst match ever. Mm -hmm. There was some confusion on a recent episode, Jenna vs. Charmel. I was like, what are you actually looking for? Yeah. The answer's both. Yeah, because you guys. If you're top of the leaderboard, you're the worst match ever. If you're towards the bottom, it means you're the best worst match ever. That works. We're killing two birds with one stone here. And if you're not on the board, well, then you just don't qualify for either. Nope. But who knows where... So currently, we've got The Miz versus Damian Priest. Mm -hmm. That is our worst match ever. Yeah. Um, beating Taker and Goldberg and Patterson and Briscoe evening gown. <laughs> it's definitely not going to be Jenna Sharma. Is yeah. It? But will today's match be our new worst match ever? As we it are might. as we are about to watch the ECW Chamber match from December to December 2006. I've not watched this match in a long time. Oh, I've seen this match so many times. I've I've watched this match an embarrassing number of times mm -hmm. because it's it's always a, oh, do you want to watch a bad match? Here it is. And I've watched it for Wrestle Talk Extra, available mm -hmm. over at Patreon. I've watched this match too many times. I watched this in context, and that was too many times. Mm -hmm. You seen this before, Pete? Nope. Oh, this is your Pete. first time ever mm -hmm. with the chamber, with the yeah. ECW chamber. Oh, oh, I know all about it, though. <laughs> I've just never subjected myself to the whole thing. Well, you're about to today. Yeah. So let's let's try and make the best of it, you guys. Yeah. Can't wait. And you can at home too as well. We've got a timestamp on screen right now for both the WWE Network and the Peacock version. Apologies if you are elsewhere in the world and don't have all the... I can't put all of the versions of the <laughs> WWE Network on screen. Similarly... We cannot put the video on screen. I know a lot of you as I know a lot of you want us to. We cannot do it. We literally can't. Literally cannot. WWE will take the video down and all of this will have been for naught. Yes. So you won't get to watch it. We won't get to actually produce it. So we can't do it. But I really enjoyed the one comment was like, does it really matter if you make money? Just it's put it up. It's something like, <laughs> then take the video down. I know. So like, it's not even that we don't make any money. There's no video there. <laughs> you don't get to watch it either. <laughs> so I'm afraid so. Also, I want to shout out my, I was saying this to Tempest Stadium. earlier, one of my favorite comments we've had thus far is someone said like, hey, you should really just have a magnetic board so you can move <laughs> these things around. What do you think this is, numb nuts? It's a great idea though. Wish we thought of it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, right, we're ready. Yeah, Timestamps sure. down below. We are going to start this in three, two, one. Let's -a go. Oh, Do we have volume? I will turn some volume up onto Great. the TV so we can hear. Wonderful. Do you know what, Pete? I'll even, just for you, turn off the uh, subtitles as well. You know, I actually watch a lot of things with subtitles anyway. You really? These days, yeah. I don't do that with wrestling. I don't do it with wrestling. Absolutely not. It's bad enough that I have to but, hear it. I don't want to read yeah, yeah. the commentary as well. I, yeah, I don't want to read Michael Cole's commentary. Oh my! <laughs> well, there's no how Michael Cole old? here, is there? <laughs> and how many Ys are on oh my? Because this is, of course, uh, Joey Styles and Taz. Mm -hmm. Yep. That was our commentary. Here we go. Four <laughs> men. Sorry, sorry. The four men are loaded into, into the, the pods. pods. Two men start the chamber after five minute period. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. A pod will open. open. Dot, dot, dot. Releasing not only another competitor. Dot, dot, dot. dot, dot. But a weapon as well. Elimination by pinfall or submission. Last man remaining will be the ECW world champion. I, the phrasing of this is so I, funny to me. I sure hope it's someone from classic ECW. Mm, yeah. All one of them in the match. <laughs> yeah, Tim, yeah, why don't you, you tell us about this match? Because there was supposed to be a Sabu in this match. There was supposed to be a Sabu in this match, but WWE, in classic false advertisement fashion, took him out backstage and replaced him in this match with Bob Hawley. 
Yeah. Sparky plug. <laughs> Sparky plug. The most hardcore of them all. So WWE, for you know, hardcore Holly. Bit a bit of history lesson for those of you who uh, might not have been around at this point in time. In 2005, we had ECW One Night Stand, mm-hmm. sort of held as one of like the greatest pay per views the WWE have ever produced, and it's yep. not even theirs. Yep. Uh, technically. And then the following year, they did another one night stand, so technically a two night stand, I guess. And that was used to launch the new ECW. Yeah. When does it become a fling? When does it become more than a one night stand? When do they get engaged and move in together and yeah. have a white picket fence and a minivan? When they go to TV and they, <laughs> and they rebrand the belt. And here is your extreme champion, the big show. Because mm-hmm. Rob Van Dam was crowned the ECW World Champion at One Night Stand DOS. Yep. Uh, but then him and Sabu got into a little bit of trouble with a little bit of weed. So Rob Van Dam lost both the ECW and the WWE Championship in a matter of weeks. Yeah. Oh, it was a matter of like Days. night <laughs> after one another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went to the next Raw, lost the WWE title to Edge. The next night, lost the ECW title to Big Show and then was suspended. When Paul Heyman turned heel on not only RVD, but ECW as a whole and became the heel authority figure. Which is baffling. Well, you know how he's a heel as well, Pete. Mm -hmm. In his own words, he took his baseball cap off. Yeah. If he's wearing a baseball cap, Mm -hmm. he's a baby face. He's ECW Paul Heyman. But if he's not got that baseball cap on, he's a baddie. Yep. (laughs) Oh, Lord. So... We have you know the brand new launch of ECW, mm-hmm. and WWE could not help themselves but fuck with it yep. and make it as unlike ECW as they possibly could. Well, it's because it was on Sci-Fi, right? Well, that was part of the problem. So they had to have it was sci- on Sci-Fi. They had to have Sci-Fi elements in there. The zombies in the mm-hmm. first match. There was a vampire in Kevin Furtick. The Yeti. And um, all this sort of nonsense. All this sort of garbage. My bigger thing, though, was just like, why don't you just take this to the Hammerstein Ballroom? Yeah. They didn't why, want it to work. Like, why? Mm. Well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what that's, Vince that's wanted yeah. was Vince wanted all these people that were chanting ECW at all his shows to shut up forever. And so he said, all right, I'll give you ECW and you're going to hate it. And then you'll never chant ECW again. Going to inject the ECW with a lethal dose of poison. Do you know what I'm hearing there, Tempest? If you give the fans what they won't, they'll never appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. They gave you Brian Danielson as champion. Hey, it's CM Punk. CM Punk. This was like the shining light of ECW was yeah. we're making a new star in CM Punk. Yeah. And it's CM Punk is going for the ECW world title. This is cool. Hey, we can't have Sabu in the chamber. We can't mm-hmm. have Sandman in the chamber. We can't have Balls Mahoney in the chamber. But at least we've got CM Punk. I sure hope he doesn't go out first. Yeah, I sure hope he doesn't go out early. Like who, really quickly in this Who match. would you have booked in this chamber? If you were told 2006, you have to book a six-person ECW elimination chamber match. With the ECW roster that you yeah, had at your disposal. You, yes. you can't just say, hey, New Jack, come in for a night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this is going to be part of the problem that ECW's relaunch was always going to have. The top guys that were in ECW aren't don't feel like top guys in the WWE world. Mm-hmm. So like just incredible is on the ECW roster. He's like a multi-time ECW world champion. He's like one of the last ECW world champions they ever had. But if you put just incredible in the main event of a pay-per-view in 2006, Ain't no one buying a, a, a pay-per-view order. I'm not saying that people are buying this because f***ing Test is in this. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he's at least a recognizable but name, similarly, right? similarly, I don't think Just Incredible is going to move a needle either. No. But you oh, would want to... No one bought this pay-per-view. <laughs> but you're going to want to have, like, Just Incredible, Balls Mahoney, Sandman, at the very mm. least, should be in this match. Sabu should be in this match. If you want a big name that people are actually going to tune in for that's been on the ECW thing, throwing Kurt Angle, like he was on well, the he's one He's gone match. by this point. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Angle's Angle the company. Oh, now. yeah, of course, yeah. Jesus he was Christ. part of, like, the big initial relaunch of ECW, yeah, yeah, yeah. but then they were like, no, we, we cannot risk having you employed anymore. Yeah. TNA will gladly take that <laughs> risk, but we as a company are not going to take that risk. Yeah. Didn't realize he was gone so soon after. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it comes was like test. pretty immediately after. Yeah. Crikey. Okay. The size of this man. Part A. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, Stacy, how about after I win the title tonight, you and I go party? Uh, what show was that from? I can't I even know. remember. It was a show. It was like, or something. like SummerSlam 2004 was, yeah, or something. It was, it, was, it was a pay-per-view on WrestleCase. It, it might have been like remember. once I beat The Undertaker. Yeah. It's like SummerSlam 04. 02? Oh, yeah. Might have yeah. been that one. Undertaker right. and Test. Yeah. Either way, Test. Here he is. Test. So... Hell of a big boot. Then he has got, <laughs> do you know what? Hell of a big boot. Yeah. When he doesn't fall over from yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. 50% of the time it works every time. Exactly. So that's kind of like where we are. The, the TV show is not doing great. And Vince has already given up on this project. Oh, yeah. But he has given them this pay-per-view so it can fail. Yeah. The whole idea of this pay-per-view is to absolutely tank, to fail, for no one to buy it, so Vince can be proven right and Paul Heyman can be fired the following day. And that is what happens. Mm -hmm. Because Vince said, I don't want to have all of your ECW guys in there. We're going to have proper stars like Test mm. and Bob Holly and Big Show and Bobby Lashley in this match because that was Vince's new pet project. Mm -hmm. And he kind of took over most of the show, let it flounder, and blamed it all on Heyman. And Heyman was gone the following day. It's so unlike Vince to have some <laughs> sort of like scapegoat that he just uses to mask the problems that are Vince's fault, you know? This show had two matches advertised mm. going into it. They sold t-shirts at this event that had the match card on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. And it is just I want one. the Hardy Boys versus Eminem and the ECW Chamber match, one person on that match is not in this match because yep. Sabu is not in this match. Listen. It's Lobby Bash. If you want to send us some merch, <laughs> if yes. anybody out there has that, I will gladly take that I'll shirt. Look at this production as well. Telegraphing who is winning this match because Blaster Lashley comes out here and Big Show, the champion, is going, <laughs> and Paul Heyman, the heel authority figure, is going, <laughs> They ain't doing that for Rob Van Dam. They ain't doing that for Test or Sparky Plug. Nope, they are telling you right now, Blaster Lashley is the man that is winning this match. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> We're going to get TNA chance. Yeah. All right. <laughs> And you're going to be the world's happiest man. <laughs> and it was me <laughs> at home going to TNA. Because at this point as well, 2006, I'm at university at this point. I'm in my second, no, my third year of university. And I was the biggest TNA mark. And I was the biggest ECW mark. Like mm -hmm. that was what my teenage years were, were watching ECW VHSs. And even when I got to university, me and my friends would watch the bootleg ECW DVDs that weren't being sold commercially by WWE, but could be bought through nefarious means mm -hmm. on the internet that had all the TNN shows and the pay-per-views with the original music and all this sort of stuff. Some of it were just like VHS rips that didn't have the music on it, but some of it we w like were like, you know, I don't know, 320p is probably, you know, mm. generous oh, in yeah. terms of what the quality was. But also TVs were smaller, so it didn't look quite as terrible. Yeah. So I was so excited for a relaunch of ECW. And boy, howdy, was I let down. Mm -hmm. Real badly was I let down. I was the... I was the fan that Vince was purposefully trying to like annoy yeah. and make a bad product so I would boo it and he could say, look, I told you I was right, mm -hmm. to Paul Heyman. Well, no, didn't it? Sure did. Well, how, no, you say that, Pete, but ECW ran for another couple of years after this. Well, this is 2006. That yeah. shit didn't get shut down until 2010. Yeah. yeah. God. Shout out to Christian, keeping that <laughs> thing alive and for Ezekiel another year. And Jackson. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> It's Christian and Big Zeke. Those are the people that are really carrying that brand forward. There's big ECW originals. What did Sandman do on this show? Did he just attack the... Um, did he attack the FBI or was that the Great Khali killed the FBI? The Great Khali gave the Punjabi plunge to Tommy Dreamer on the Dreamer, stage. Dreamer, that was mm. it. I knew it was an ECW guy that they murdered, but I couldn't remember who. I'll tell hey, you it's RBD. He's, he's cool. He is cool, the He's former fun. champ. Yeah. Let's have a look. Wikipedia. 
Sure, you did something. That's else. right. People were chanting TNA at Rob Van Dam, and apparently his wife was one of the people chanting. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's, that's quite incredible. Place, also mate. corrected to Eve. ECW December to December. So the rest of this card. I mean, Tempest, you might actually know what the rest of this card is. In reverse chronological order. <laughs> oh, shush. What's this? What's the there's, order of this card? There's Balls Mahoney and Matt Stryker. That's correct. In a Strikers Rules match. Yeah. Like seven minutes. Yeah. There's, uh, I think it's Kevin Thorne and Ariel against Mike Knox and Kelly Kelly. That is also correct. Mixed the gender tag match, se yeah. 7 minutes 43. The Hardys against Eminem. Yep, the this opener. match. Um, after that, I uh, Tommy Dreamer has a match. I can't recall who it's, who it's against. Is uh, it the Great Kali? It's not the Great Kali, is it? Oh, no, it's Daivari. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, and Di and Daivari wins. Of course, of course he does. He does. Yeah. On the on the ECW <laughs> pay per view. Yeah, I can't remember what Sandman does. He like Sand shows up and whacks somebody. That's it. Yeah, um, Sandman isn't doesn't have a match. The other match that you forgot, and I don't know how you could forget this one. Six minutes forty one. Elijah Burke and Sylvester Turkai defeat the FBI of Little Guido yep. and Tony Mameluke. Yeah, with Trinity from TNA in their mm. corner. Cool. <sighs> All right, this match is underway. The other thing as well, not only have we got like uh, our timers on screen, we've got countdowns. So if yeah. you really sync up with us yeah, as this yeah, goes that's on. that's true, yeah. Also, this is the old chamber. No, yeah! No pads here. No. All metal <laughs> great for you. Yeah, well, they were real wrestlers, Peter. They were real tough guys. You bring that back. Look. I was one of the people who all said, like, ah, it doesn't look as good with the pads. But also, wrestlers' safety is important, gang. Yeah, Pete, you're one of those guys, though, that don't want referees to hold up ladders so that people are safe. I don't know. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> yes, you are, Pete. That's all you kept saying in the office last week was, oh, did you see the referees helping Powerhouse Hobbs win the belt? As wouldn't, they should. Wouldn't have got that back in my day. That's what good. Pete was saying God, loudly my. around the office. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Hate wrestling me. <laughs> this match... Feel this is the main event of a pay per view, but feels it's insane. Massively mid card because it's Test and it's Bob Holly, and actually at this point Lashley. Oh yeah, it's good spot. Yeah, Bobby Lashley, yeah. like United States champion around this time. Yeah, and it's Not, and uh, Big Show. Like it's yeah. I, yeah. I, you know one of the other issues I think you could probably lobby at this is that lobby at Bobby, lobby at Bobby. Yeah, is I'm looking at a match here with. Test, Big Show, and Bob Holly, and all I see is the undercard hardcore division from 1998, 1999, mm. 2000. Yeah. And that is not to say, like, hey, people can't elevate up the card or anything, but they also were not elevated up the card. They stayed at that position from 1999 till 2006. Yeah. <sighs> but here they are, main eventing a pay per view, and Vince there being like, well, goddammit, pal. <laughs> I guess this whole ECW thing didn't work after all. I mean, Bobby Lashley spent like most of that time just hurt. Mm. It's like he breaks his neck off of that thing with Brock, and yeah. then he breaks his arm real bad off that moonsault with Kurt Angle. And then they're like, okay, now pay per view main event. There's <laughs> nothing else in between there. I can't believe it didn't work. <laughs> we tried nothing. We're all out of ideas. <laughs> Here comes oh, Hardcore dude, Holly. It's like a rough. What could, oh. have, could have been a rough bump. Nope, Even that back bump. Is yeah, that too back much. bump is obviously. Because that like is like works. one of the three, two, one, two, two minutes. minutes to go before the next entrance. That is one of the more safer bumps to take in the world. You jump off the top rope, land on your feet, mm -hmm. and the other person sticks up their foot, and you go, oh do, and fall backwards. Problem is, you fall backwards onto that grate. So yep. like, oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like that at all. They, <laughs> it was a Bob Holly look of like, yeah, I ain't taking that again. <laughs> they really say it for the, the Tommy Dreamer Punjabi <laughs> plunge bump. But imagine taking any sort of bump on this show. <laughs> you know? Imagine taking any of these great bumps on this show. Yeah. yeah. I could not possibly... Like, I, I cringe deeply watching anyone take any sort of bumps on this great, you know? Yeah. 
Because, like, there are some where you just take, like, a choke slam on that sucker or anything, and it just looks absolutely wretched. Yeah. But at the very least, some of the elimination chambers happen on pretty darn good pay-per-views. Mm. You know? Like, the, the, the first one at Survivor Series... That's a good show. Have a real big moment. Shawn Michaels wins his first and only world title post-retirement. It's kind of important. Mm -hmm. You feel like you've accomplished something by taking yep. a little bit of extra punishment in that. His poop-colored trousers. Yeah, yeah, with just H on the side. <laughs> this is wretched. Yeah. And I can't imagine shortening your career in any way for this match and this show. Crouch on it for CM Punk. Well, so that was Heyman's original plan. Heyman's pitch for this match mm -hmm. was <clears throat> Punk starts mm -hmm. and eliminates everyone. Yep. He runs wild. Build a star. Eliminates every single person in this match and wins the whole thing. And next entrant is... Oh. 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 That, I, I need to get better quality cameras up there. <laughs> Not the greatest yeah. shot. Yeah, yeah it's CM shot Punk. Seen. Each of them have got a different weapon. CM Punk has a chair. He does Because indeed. it's the extreme change. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And look at Punk coming in here, ejecting some energy into this match. Yeah. <sighs> this is a crowd that does feel like they want to see a new star yeah. in CM Punk. And, They're you know, in fairness to... Oh, oh, what was, was that? What was the for? plan here, Punk? Here, was catch. Was he, he going to uh -oh. do a Van Daminator to him? <laughs> Just threw the chair and Rob Van Dam caught him. Punk went, uh oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, now what? <laughs> but he didn't even throw it at him. He like passed threw it, it to, to him. him. Yeah. <laughs> Big Jill. <laughs> <laughs> that was a stupid spot. Oh, that's a fun spot. That was a wonky yeah. monkey flip. flip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was a fun idea. It was a put, good idea. Put the chair down, then run over, do the monkey flip onto the chair. That was a pro classical RVD. Hey, guys. I'm Rob Van Dam. Mr. Monday Night. Oh, that was nice. Or Tuesday night, I guess, now. Yeah. I don't know why it's always stuck with me. But Rob Van Dam, at some point in TNA, gave a, a series of monkey flips to Kazarian. And he launched that, man. <laughs> like, all the way across the ring. It was like the damnedest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> That's a really fun spot. That was a fun sequence. That's a real fun spot. Yeah. I like that. This main event was just RVD versus CM Punk for the ECW be cool. title. Imagine. Be That'd be cool, right? Yeah. And like the point I was going to make earlier is, you know, credit to WWE. This crowd wanted to see a new star crowned, and this show gives them a new star. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It does. They, 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 they put their flag in the ground and say, here's oh. your new guy. Oh dear. Oh, and there is RVD busted open. And oh my God. Punk just booted that chair while I it was wrapped know. around the neck of Punk. I don't know. How oh, you get oh, RVD even oh don't do much. it. Oh. And Art Carly with a big swing there Ow. into the steel cage. Not nice at all. And it looks like RVD is dead. Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Raking his back across the grate. <laughs> Look at his back. Look at the referee the be like, I ain't counting on that grate, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to count nice here on the safety of the mat. See, those are the spots that kill me in these kind of matches. Because they do it in, um, there's a 2008 chamber match. It's actually the next one after this. Where it's Batista and Undertaker. And they go, they're the two that start and they're the two that finish. And at some point in the match, Batista's just lying on the grate. And Undertaker just like picks up his legs and like rakes Drags his him. back yeah. over it. No one reacts because it's not like a big thing. It's not a bump. It's not anything. I bet that's probably the thing that hurt Batista the most in the whole match. Yeah. God. Also, you can see why they, they lowered down the, the time limit between entrance and future chamber matches. <laughs> Five minutes feels like an eternity. I think it's not that long if you just fill it with fun spots. If you have the five minutes planned rather than just like, Ah, we'll take a couple bucks. It probably would be okay if we weren't watching Bob and <laughs> Holly. Well, yeah, there's that too. <laughs> hey, I will not have any disrespect on the good name of Sparky Plug, Holly. Sparky Plug Thurman. His autobiography is marvelous. It's a genuinely brilliant book. And that's not just because my friend wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> so when you said autobiography. <laughs> it's written by Bob and my friend. Yep. 
but it is still a very good book. I say that with the caveat, I have not read it <laughs> in a decade or so. I really hope you just ended the sentence there. I have not I read it. I have not read it. <laughs> But I've been informed by it's my right. friend that it's very good. <laughs> you may or may not have written it, that it's great. No, I, ha I haven't read it since it came out, which is probably 10 or so years ago. Going for a big superplex spot. Up top, superplex. Very nice. Big bump. You know, this is... We're getting to it, Pete. Th th this is hardcore Holly and... The other lads. <laughs> uh, I like how he said the real star of this. Match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and was, it, and it, a bunch of other guys. It may be hardcore Holly et al. in in this match, but it's not terrible. We're it's, not it's there yet. Fine it's just bland. It's, yeah. it's bland. Is what it's it is. Fine. It's had a couple of okay spots. This. I don't think this is anywhere near the territory of worst match ever yet. Yeah, for its first like you know this has been going ten minutes or so. Mm -hmm. It has just been. Uh, it's been some spots. Yeah. And, uh, but, I mean, like, really, it's the worst thing is, you can say, is it's oh. a bad choice. One, and yeah. eh, our next entrant. It's, like, just a lot of bad choices of who is in yeah. the match. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the presentation of it as opposed to the actual in-ring work. Mm -hmm. Also, Tess gave away that he was going in next because he got his weapon ready. Well, he's big. a bad wrestler. <laughs> he's a bad wrestler, guys. He's got a crowbar. <laughs> I'm just saying. What? He's a bad wrestler. <laughs> you can't say that around Adam Blompier. He gets very upset. Yeah, he's one of his boys. Yeah, if you if you don't pick Tess as one of your guys, Adam gets very upset by that. Uh, Tess here trying to murder Rob Van Dam with yeah. the the crowbar. Mm. He's hardcore. Makes sense. He's to me. hardcore, and you know there used to be a term for someone who was real bad in the ring, real mm -hmm. stiff, mm -hmm. called a crowbar. <laughs> yeah. I think this is uh, very ironic. Mm. Don't you think? Just a little bit. It's like rain on your wedding day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and just yeah. simple it's... simple clotheslines, it's your RVD comeback. Yeah. Did Stephanie McMahon ever interact with Test again <laughs> after that? <laughs> Uh, well, after the um, after, uh, the lover or lo love him or leave him match, because she got amnesia mm -hmm. after that match, because British Bulldogs threw a bin at her, as you do. Real things that happened in 1999. Where's my title shot? And then, God, what happened with Stephanie after that? Well, she's with Hunter by the end of the year. Yeah. Well, it's Armageddon when she turns on Vince. Yeah. Because she like because Triple H marries her in like November. It's an EC dub chan. It's because Rob Van Dam is like him. running wild. He did, he did a thing. Did his drop kick in the corner. He did the thing. <sighs> Five star frog, frog splash. splash. Uh oh. oh Rob dear. Van Dam is looking oh to eliminate oh, CM Punk from CM the match. CM Punk was on his side. One, two. He, he did it. CM Punk. <sighs> Just like out <sighs> first. I, I, here's the thing. If you're going to eliminate CM Punk first, don't have Rob Van Dam do it because what happened? The crowd booed Rob Van Dam. Big boot from Test. One, two, no, no. um, hmm, no. what happened? Um, uh, uh, okay, Bob, no, get no, out. What's going on? Bob's out now, he you guys. Eliminated. Bob's, yeah, Bob's out, <laughs> you guys. I think he's gone. Commentary's <laughs> covering. What is it with Bob Holly and fucking up pins? <laughs> It's like this in WrestleMania 2000. <laughs> see now, Pete, we've reached the part of the match that's bad. See now, see now that that was all. <laughs> <laughs> that's taken this match down significantly. Yep, and here comes RVD hey, up me, to the top of the pod. Give me that boot. Big Show's got him because there's not plexiglass on the top, so there's the, no, there's the chain chains. link. So Big Show was able to go through and grab the. Oh, I hit him the in the bum. It's, it's everyone's favorite wrestler, chains.
and so Taz hit him in the bum <laughs> with a chair and <laughs> oh, threw him off the top by his ponytail. Spot. Yeah, just like you, you, you've got an ECW oh faithful crowd and you have bought tickets for an this. ECW show. Why on earth would you have RVD eliminate Punk and get booed? But here comes Test with a chair over Rob Van Dam's face going to the top of the pod God. to do an elbow oh, drop and just sits crush, on his face. Just crush Rob Van Dam. One. Oh. And there goes Rob Van Dam. So now you've got your final. Oh, RBD oh. and CM Punk are both out. Your final three here uh, test. Bobby Lashley and Big Show, G.I. Wonder who's going to win. And Rob Van Dam is deader than Jenna Maraska was when she got tripped on the uh, on the apron. Oh, man. Holy heckins. That is a gross bump. How about now, Pete? <laughs> uh, this match isn't great. Uh, it's not it, It's not good, is it? It spends like 10 to 15 <laughs> minutes being... Fine. Yep. And then they make the bad decision to eliminate Punk first via mm -hmm. Rob Van Dam. Yep. And then, for no reason, Test eliminates his partner. Oh, yeah, they would. Sort of. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sort of. He doesn't, but they kick Holly out of the match anyway. And then Test kills Rob Van Dam, and they do my favorite spot in every Elimination Chamber match when, oh, everyone's eliminated. Let's just wait. We've got to wait yeah. 30 seconds. Well, Tess it, recovers. It couldn't have timed this a little better. Like, and, you know, if it was a plucky baby face that was trying to like claw back some energy, so we, like if it was Rob Van Dam pouring yeah, with blood, yeah, being yeah. like, right, I've got 30 seconds here to try and like gather myself together before Big Show or Bobby Lashley gets in, that's one thing, mm -hmm. but it's, it's Test. Yeah. <laughs> and so Test is just standing up. Six, five, four, three, two, two. One, who's it gonna be, Big Show or Lashley? Big Show's hoping that it's him. But it's Bobby it's Lashley. It's Bubbles. Oh, no, no, but who is this? It isn't. Security have locked Bobby in. You don't need to barricade it, the door is locked. The door is locked, what are you doing? <laughs> you have locked Bobby Lashley in the match thus ensuring he will be in the match longer. <laughs> I also really ensuring love- ensuring he cannot be eliminated. Bingo, Pete! Mm -hmm. Look at the young bucks. <laughs> see, see, if you could- If you could attack Lashley while he was in there, I think this makes sense. If there was a way to like get on top and then like, you know, beat him from above, whatever, mm -hmm. get some weapons through, whatever, this plan makes sense. Doesn't though. It does not make a whole lot. You can almost feel when Vince McMahon took over <laughs> this match. Yeah. And now what? Lashley starts breaking chains with a table. <laughs> the breaker of chains. What? Then, and then he breaks the work? table. The table gets caught in, in the, the chains, chains in the wall, so now there's no table spot. My God. He abandons the table. Yep. And he's now going to like just Incredible. climb through the top of the the chains to get into this match as this crowd do not react. And we've got four minutes before Big Show gets in. <laughs> See, the idea of Lashley being locked in and breaking the chains and climbing out of the thing sounds like a cool spot on paper. Didn't work, though. Why didn't he just boot his way out of the glass? Mm. Goldberg did it. Yeah. Like, and you're trying to erase Goldberg from history at this point, so why didn't you just have Lashley do that spot? I mm -hmm. guess he could make the argument because he was going to throw him into that. There are loads of other pods that he can yeah, do that to. Yeah. There are two other pods he could have done that to. Yeah. Like, there's ways around it. I'm trying, like, I'm fantasy booking this whole match mm. to just. Is if, this where your pitch is going to be for Adam's next yeah. <laughs> Adam yeah. book? I'm pretty sure he's done this show I think he at has. some point. Uh, but, he into what culture does. Yeah. If you told me that you have to have Bobby Lashley win this match, mm -hmm. you could have done such a better job of just orchestrating all these things. Like if, again, like you said, if Rob Van Dam and Tess just switch places in this part of the match mm -hmm. and then have Big Show come out, mm -hmm. eliminate Rob Van Dam because Rob Van Dam has been in since the start and is bleeding and he just can't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. And then you have Big Show come in. You don't have Tess just dicking around <laughs> for 40 seconds. You don't, you, you don't have Tess. 
Full stop. Full stop. That's good. That's true. <laughs> oh, I guess it's it's a it's a match of two halves mm -hmm. because the first half was the guys you want to win in RVD and CM Punk, and then the second half, which is Vince being, but no, damn it, Lashley mm -hmm. is winning. Cheer him. Yeah. So the first half of the match, people are cheering. People are in Twitter. There are RVD yeah. chants. There are ECW yeah. chants. A lot of CM Punk chants. A lot of CM yeah. Punk chants. But now we're in the second half of the match. Ain't no Lashley chants. Ain't mm -hmm. no ECW chants. Ain't no anything. Yeah. It's just quiet. And we're in the final stages here. We're getting into the end game. And the crowd are just, they're not even booing. They're just sitting on their hands. They're sitting on their hands with like five it. people going, CM Punk. It's a nice CM carnage Punk. shirt right across from the hard cam. Mm -hmm. Just picking out other things to look at. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a cool carnage shirt. shirt. Remember when carnage was popular? Yeah. There was a period of time in the mid 2000s where, like, actually, I mean, it's like the mid 90s. Yeah. Oh, I didn't really miss, miss the elimination now. One, two, three. Cool. Now we've got Bobby Lashley to wait around. <laughs> It's like a solid minute. We've still got yeah. Yeah, the clock's not even up yet. Yeah, it's <laughs> a minute and twelve. You can gimmick this. Why can't yeah. you just be like, listen, just cut forty seconds off of that right now yeah. before yeah. you throw the clock up? No one's gonna notice. No one's gonna care. I think there's a clock on on the the big Titan Tron. Oh, listen, maybe. they wouldn't care. <laughs> <laughs> because this show does run short. Like it is. It's two hours and 14 minutes. This show. It's actually shorter than I remember. Yeah. Tempest said to me, and I was like, I reviewed this for Rest Talk Extra. And Tempest was like, oh, that's a very sad show to watch. I was like, at least it's short. It's yeah. like two and a half hours. It's a breeze. It's as long as an episode of Raw is now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. If you take out all the ad breaks from Raw, it's probably about the same length. Yeah. But you made the point of the, from the Brian and Vinny review of this, which is... Which is... <laughs> That I think Brian says, I don't know whether to be offended that this show, that I paid for this show and it ended early, or if I would have paid more to have it end earlier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we go. 10, 9, Nine eight, 8, 7, 6, six 5, 4, 3, two, 2, 1. It's the big show. Well, he's got his. Well, he's got a bat. He's got a bat that's got barbed wire on it. And this is, listen, this is the biggest of big shows. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the peak of Big Show's career. Nope. This is the big show. No. I'm heard. This is like around the time when uh, he was so big that. He was like wearing a, a suit and tie or whatever, going to a press event or, or something. And he uh, w had a bit of a cold and he started coughing while he was uh, just driving or whatever. And because he was so big and he had a tie on, he just passed out <laughs> at the wheels <laughs> and just rolled this car. And thankfully, he didn't die or anything. Yeah. But like, I'm, it was a bad time for him. I was going to say, it was also the time when WWE were enforcing that everyone had to wear suits backstage. Yep. With the exception of The Undertaker who could get away with it because it wasn't part of his gimmick. And I also remember around this time, I think this was when Big Show was like, he was, you know, on his, they put ECW on the road because they taped it after or before SmackDown. Yeah. Well, it went it, live after SmackDown. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it went live it after live. SmackDown, yeah. So like, it's, like Big Show is, He's traveling and he can't fly. Yeah. yeah. Because he's too big and it's too uncomfortable for him to fly. Yeah. And again, I come back to the point why don't you just box tape everything in the Hammerstein ballroom? Yeah. yeah. At least it would have felt like ECW and you would have packed it out with a, like, this is the strength of TNA. You do, yeah. your TNA Impact was filmed in front of the same people every single week. So that same audience were like, these are our guys. We know the storylines. I like this person. I don't like this person. And they got people over. Lance Hoyt got over because of that Impact crowd. A1 could have gotten over with that Impact crowd. He should have just gone for drinks with them like Lance Hoyt did. <laughs> but they, Good strategy. But they instead just like, no, no, we could do it on the road and tape it live after SmackDown. So people have paid to see SmackDown, seen all the stars, and then no, here comes Just Incredible versus Kevin Furtick. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to cheer. A SmackDown crowd in 2006. Yeah, I with mean, a bad, what, yeah. Like bad era of bad SmackDown. Bad SmackDown. 
And that's the crowd that's sticking around to watch the zombie yep. ECW. I can't believe it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> we tried nothing. We're all out of Big ideas. Show's going for a choke He's going slam. for the choke slam. But can Lashley get out of this? He does. Yes. DDT. I think this is Big Show's last show, too. Oh, an ECW. Yeah. Like, he leaves after this, and he spends his 2007 getting fit. Oh, that's right! Mm. And it, and then getting Vince McMahon's head in his bum. Oh, that was, that was 2006. That, that was before that. Yeah, yeah this was that, was the, that was this year. Yeah, that was the Hell in a Cell match. Was, yeah, when I was trying to think when he was involved with the McMahons. Yeah. That was this year with DX. Yeah. That 2006 was a bad year. It's Why a bad are people year. nostalgic for this period of time? It's I don't a know. bad time for WWE. I would always go back and look at like the Observer Awards and who won everything. And like the 2000s are like worst promotions, <laughs> like New Japan, New Japan. WWE in 2006, and then TNA, 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 <laughs> TNA. And I was like, what the hell was so bad about 2006 WWE? I can't understand it. And then Spare I, I started Spare watching some of it, and I was like, One, oh, I get it. two, two three. three. There it is. Okay. Lashley just wins. There you go. Lashley just wins. They don't even oh. have Tony Chimmel. Oh my lord. Paul uh, Heyman is witnessing Paul the Heyman birth of his or the death of his child, rather. The death of his, <laughs> birth of his child. <laughs> He's I not really, excited. I really hope that Heyman did that. Like, oh. oh dear. I've made an error. <laughs> I've made a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's watching the death of ECW and the death of his time in WWE. And he's about ready to go, the, I would imagine. Uh, yeah. The birth of the rumors. Paul Heyman to TNA confirmed. Oh. Yep. Because TNA make a hard push for Heyman in 07. Yep. They had meetings. Heyman had plans. He gave his big pictures of what he would do. But he decided not to go. And he but went he back, didn't. And he went back to WWE. When did he go, when did he go 2012. back? 2012. 2012? Yeah. Wow, he's away for a long it was, time. It was with uh, Lesnar, right? Yep. Yeah. And came back. It was, uh, I'll never forget that. And like, Curtis Axel. That's not forget yeah. That's Curtis later. Axel. That's later. <laughs> but, yeah, I, but importantly, he went back for Curtis. My friend, one of my best friends from high school was uh, taking a bit of a break from watching WWE. He would pretty much always at that point stop watching WWE after WrestleMania through like SummerSlam, mm -hmm. maybe until the Rumble if he was feeling yeah. up to it. And that segment happened and I called him on the phone. I was like, you got to turn on Raw right now. Paul Heyman has come back. <laughs> mm -hmm. He was like, shut up. Absolutely not. And turn it on and he lost his mind. What a well, bad match. That was that, was, go, that was that. That is that. Right. This is going to be quite quite the decision to make here yeah. because ECW Chamber Ch Chamber <laughs> oh. how did I you mess that I up I watched Luke? you write it oh life. that's so legible <laughs> the ECW charger <laughs> it needed one after that <laughs> Char <laughs> the ECW charger the ECW charger everyone we're sticking with it. Okay. Where does this go? I realized I, I, I was blocking the view of it in the, one of the previous shots, so I need to try and find a way to make sure we're on camera and people can see this. Okay, so for the for the benefit of those with uh, who are Tempest, yeah. uh, we've got The Miz versus Damien Priest at the top. Mm -hmm. Taker versus Goldberg underneath. Yeah. And I'm not going to talk about Jerry and Charmel because that's this yeah. is not in contention. It's current, and yeah, Patterson and Briscoe. Patterson and Briscoe. Underneath that. Where is the ECW charger going? <laughs> Hmm. It's pretty bad. I think this is worse than Patterson Briscoe because Patterson and Briscoe, I want to remind you sure. again, is two minutes. Yeah. yeah. I think I agree. It is yeah. a gif. I think that this yeah. is uh, not going to be indicative of its final placement because mm -hmm. I think we're going to have a lot of things that are going to, you know, space out a lot of what we've got going on here. Mm -hmm. Right now, I think it is uh, lower than Goldberg Taker, higher than higher Patterson, Patterson Briscoe. Briscoe. So you want to. Yeah. I, I, I agree. Yeah, I was going to make a case for it being worse than Taker Goldberg. Again, because it was long and it was mm -hmm. plodding at times. Yeah. But there was a point that Pete made that I do agree with. It's Taker Goldberg. It's icon versus icon. It mm -hmm. should have been better than what it was. Yeah. And also should not have ever happened. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, this was 
designed to fail. Like yeah. the, the the like like Patterson Briscoe. Like Patterson Briscoe. This was designed to fail. It wasn't necessarily like it was a, a poorly worked match necessarily. It was poorly booked and there's designed a, to be bad. There's a bad like 90 second stretch there in the middle that really lowers it several stars in my mind. Absolutely. Yeah. But like the first chunk of this is competently worked. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's half, boring. The first half but... isn't terrible. Yeah. Uh, and like looking at it in a vacuum now, like I'm not offended by the match. It was not good at all, and it, it definitely would have been like you know yeah. you could have had different winners and you could have had a differently booked match and all that stuff. But like, eh, I've seen. Do you know worse. what, Pete? I actually think I agree with you because I think there is a part of me that wants to put this higher because I've got nostalgic love for ECW mm. and. Watching that really brought back a lot of like the boiling piss that I had at the yeah. end of that show, which is totally fair and probably should be taken into consideration for the context of this match because context yeah. matters yeah. for stuff like this. You know? I was just gonna say the context of all of this being like this is the ceremonial death of ECW in yeah. WWE. That was supposed. That was a big middle finger to the fans. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. that right there is a purposeful middle finger to the fans that chanted mm. for ECW to come back. Yeah. yeah. And I, yeah, but I, I don't, do but I don't think that makes it worse than Taker it, Goldberg. It, it's yeah. really, it, honestly, they're so close between ECW and Taker Goldberg. I think they are very bad in very different ways. Yeah. And it's a hard choice to determine what, what, level of bad <laughs> each of them are and how and where that makes them rank. Honestly, can we find something worse than Miz Priest? <laughs> uh, give it time. <laughs> give it time. I got a few Sorry. things in mind that we can probably get to. Yeah, well, yeah. you know, we got some suggestions have gone into the cavalcade of crapness. Mm. Yeah. The brew dog box. I'm terrified. So there we go. Box that is nightmares. That is what we've got currently. Here is what we've got coming up next. So the cavalcade of crapness has got a lot of suggestions, and again, I want to stress, because <laughs> had, we've had this suggestion a lot, I am not putting in Sting versus Jeff Hardy nope. into this box. It's not going in, folks. It's not fun. It's not, it's not fun. fun. I've reviewed it for WrestleTalk Extra. It is not fun. So. And there's other matches that aren't fun. Like, we didn't have fun with Patterson Briscoe. That's a different kind of not fun yeah, for that, that is, one. That is, it's not good. So it's not going in the box. Other, a lot of bad matches have got in those from comments. Honestly, some doozies have gone in oh, yeah. that I am so excited to yeah. pull out. <laughs> I'm terrified. <laughs> but for now, what we got next, Luke? It's WrestleMania, baby. Woo. Woo. And what better for WrestleMania season than The Fiend versus Randy <laughs> Orton. <laughs> WrestleMania. No! I don't want it. <laughs> this is the match that cost me a shot at the championship. Oh. Uh, oh, I, okay. You know how you have nostalgic love for ECW, and that's a big factor in the. Man, I'm gonna have so many thoughts about this and Bray Wyatt and the Fiend. You and... won't have time to get them out. It's a short match. Oh God! <laughs> Having said that, there are a lot of entrances for us to go through, and yeah. a big box. <gasps> There's a box. I have not watched this since. Nor have I since it happened. But God, I remember my reaction to it. Oh yeah. Oh, I wasn't happy. Tempest. <laughs> fireball. fireball! Fireball in the face! But I, I, will, give, I will give them credit young. for trying something different. <laughs> so like, no, Pete, the Black Goose, so Pete, bad. it's not. It, this is so <laughs> shit. So I shit. I've actually forgotten how shit this was, but I'm now watching this video package. Randy Orton talked to himself! <laughs> Randy Orton can't promo on himself! <laughs> himself! But that is next week's episode of Worst Match Ever. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Uh, you can find all of the other worst matches that we watched and our reactions to those uh, in the playlist and stuff. Head on over to the channel. There's links and stuff around here. There's probably some on the old recommended side of things. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, give us your comments down below. What did you think of the ECW Chamber? And get in your suggestions for other worst matches ever to go into the cavalcade of crapness. Press the thumbs up button, subscribe if it's your first time here, and all that good jazz. And we'll see you next week for... The Fiend versus I'm actually genuinely excited. The Fiend versus Randy Orton, everyone. I have been Luke on DAD. That has been Tempest. That has been Pete Quinnell. Jam that jam. Goodbye now. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye now. Worst match ever. 
Oh, oh no. the penis. It was all a big ruse so he could knee him in the knob and then slap him on the bum. I'm looking at way too much of Gerald Briscoe <laughs> right now. That's a Why? banana. That, that's an incredibly unripe <laughs> banana. That yeah. is not ready for banana day. 